beautiful people welcome back to my channel and as you can tell today video we're going to be making uh, pumpkin pie really delicious one of my favorite signatures apple pie and um, I just as you guys can tell in the beginning video I show you guys all the ingredients they're gonna be linked in the description below let's just get right into it we're gonna start by peeling these six apples and I am peeling the last one after we are done peeling them we are going to also peel like that. And we're gonna place it on, in a bowl. So, and we're gonna do this to all of the six apples. Just finished. As you guys can tell, this is how it should look like. The texture. After you're done with that, you take the lemon and just squeeze it all in. After you're done squeezing it all in, I just take this and just mix it all up so the apples don't go brown while I finish on the other part of this. Get another bowl and crack six eggs. And don't forget to add a salt. Add this really cool machine, and I can re recommend it to you guys too. It's amazing, works on battery, and boom, just like that. And the next, so as we continue, we put this aside and we get some sugar and we dump it in here so as we continue to add sugar we just kind of mix it all together this is actually my favorite part I love seeing how it just mixes all together I don't know about you guys but I love baking I think it's just so relaxing and there's just something about it, having relaxing music and baking in the evening. I continue mixing it all in. Like I said, my favorite part is mixing. I whoop, take this and just for more flavor. Such a good idea. I do this on all my desserts, honestly. Never disappoints, never disappoints. So after I sprinkle it, all, sprinkle it all over, just add some milk. Oh. And start mixing. And as I just mix it all, can't forget the butter. and just start mixing. That butter was out, so it's like basically half melted and you just mix it all in. So after you're done, I mixed it really well. As you can tell, it's bubbly. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit and mix a little bit and mix. As I go, I just as it thickens, but oh man, okay, we're getting somewhere, you guys. It is looking beautiful, beautiful. Oh man, I'm excited to eat it, you guys, already. <laughs> Oh man, how are you guys doing though? Like, I miss you guys. It's been a whole week and I wanna know what you guys are up to. 
what do you guys think of this whole thing that's going on oh look at that oh that is beauty that's how it's supposed to look like just liquidy and yellow and we just sprinkle on top the last ingredient which is the baking soda and we continue to mix it all up As you guys can tell, I love candles. I think I said that in other videos. But look at those cute. I actually want to show you guys. Um, they are so cute. They are so, so, so cute. Their candles are pumpkins. Shout out to my mom for helping me find them. They are so cute. Fall vibes. I love it, honestly. Um, so, yeah. So, as we finish mixing it all up, we take the apples that we left aside and we just add it to the main bowl. And we start mixing. As you just continue to mix it all around, you take a pan like this, baking pan, and a little bit of butter, and just put it all over. And I tried this last time, it worked. If you guys put butter, drench it in butter everywhere on the sides, and just like have a thick layer of butter, it will come out so much easier, and it will be so much more better for you guys, and you guys won't have to put anything on it, and it's just a little helpful tip that I learned last time. Put a lot of butter, it helps. <laughs> and while you're just mixing, make sure to turn on the oven so it's preheating to 350. I usually bake this for 60 minutes. Every 30 minutes, I just take a glance and see how it's doing. So we're gonna pour this inside of this which with a thin layer every time and make sure there's no spaces in between there's no gaps in, in so that's how it's supposed to look like as you can tell there's white stuff in there it's because um the butter didn't melt all the way which is okay fine because that's what baking is for it will melt when we bake it so that is layer one we put we're gonna put all of that inside of here and we're gonna put it in the oven sit down with you guys and chat a little bit before we close the video and as i was baking it was just such a peaceful atmosphere and it just made me realize that you know there is something so beautiful about baking for your loved ones and as you guys know i'm doing it for one of my sweet friend um, from here just surprising her with a little treat on this fall evening and we can say we love our loved ones but when we show it through sacrificing it's another level of love and when we take time out of our busy day to beg for the ones that we love dearly it just shows that we were thinking about them and it's, there's something so precious about that um, I, while I was baking, I was drinking my apple cider and loving my fall drink. I know that everyone has a different kind of drink. They love seasonal. What is your guys' I would love to know in the comments below. Mine is apple cider. Really, really good. Um, and so let me know in the comments below what you guys drink in the fall times. I love this drink because you can also drink it warm and cold which is awesome because i get hot a lot of times and i love something cold icy so yeah um i'm just gonna close today's video by saying do a good deed and you know treat your loved ones and showing them that you're thinking about them by 
baking something, taking time out of your busy day and baking something. I know it can get pretty chaotic sometimes, but you know, it's worth it. I hope you guys love the video and learn something from it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.